here to do a um, little demonstration on this dry bag. It's a 55 liter dry bag. They come in all different sizes. I think from either six or 10 liters all the way up to 60 liters. Um, 55 is more liter is uh, more the average of uh, the largest size. Uh, the reason I got it um, is because we have a boat and the boat is uh, to get to the boat um, sometimes I have to kayak out to it and I don't want to get my cell phone wet the keys wet um, or any electronics or my clothes I want to stay dry uh, and these bags uh, have been proven to be very effective uh, in, in totally wa waterproofing um, when you're out in the water you can even throw the bag in the water and everything stays dry I'll show you um, this is 55 liters. This, this, this size actually has a backpack um, straps on it and a handle. So you can hand, uh, carry it that way. Um, and I also got these mesh uh, packing bags. Um, the, dry, the 55 liter bag is $34. The dry bag, these mesh packing bags, um, really large you can fit a ton in them um, are were six dollars each I got a couple of those um, and I'll show you how I'm gonna pack it um, so I have for so to get out to the boat for a day on the boat um, I'm gonna have I have a, a I'm gonna have a little bit of a system here and first off we're gonna have some dry clothes and um, a couple of towels so I'm gonna put the towels two full-size towels I'm gonna stuff those right in the bottom go all the way down in the bottom there uh, I have a poncho and a zip uh, ziplock bag uh, in case it's raining I'll go down on the bottom as well. Dry clothes. T-shirt. Underwear. Swim trunks slash regular trunks. And a pullover. That's going to go in the mesh bag so I can pull it all out at once. All the way down the bottom. I guess I'll put my baseball cap in there too. I'll fold it over. Over. There's a locking drawstring string as well. So I'll just pull that tight. Pull the clip on it. it doesn't come out. I'll stick that in there. And right now, the bag is filled up to right about there without compressing it. Next, I have uh, this light. These are super cheap. They're like right around nine, ten bucks. Uh, LEDs. They take a couple of batteries. They last forever, and they just shut off when you close them. Good to have on the boat. That's going in there. Contigo uh, double insulated mug uh, with a locking cap. It does going like this. It, unless you press on that cap, no water is going to come out of there. So that's going to go in there for my coffee so it doesn't spill all over the boat. A couple of uh, trash bags to take the trash off the boat. Uh, then I have this really cool locking dry case which I'm gonna put my cell phone keys and wallet in this was under $15 right here I could put more stuff in there if I wanted to Actually, I think I can put my cigars in there. Let's see if I can fit the cigar in there.
Look at that. My cigars stay in there too. Oh, I should note that the case came with a cell phone um, you know, super dry thing that people use for the beach and stuff like that so their cell phones don't get messed up. It has a locking mechanism. You open it up. You slide your cell phone in there. You close it back up. And your cell phone is securely dry. Um, but we're going to put this in there. Flip-flops so they don't white on the bottom so they don't mark up the boat. Sunglasses and keys. Could probably put these in a zip, another Ziploc bag just to keep them together. Let's see if I have a bag. I got a bag right here. Not a Ziploc bag, but for all intents and purposes. Stick that in there. And the bag is filled right to there. I'm gonna readjust this so people can see. So the bag is, you can see the top here, and how they sit, how they recommend to get, get that airtight seal is you make this part super flat and you fold it three times. And actually what this is, after the first fold, you compress the air up, then you fold it three times. Four is to give you even more safety as far as being cold. And then the snaps go together, stay closed, and you have it. Uh, you can see other videos where you, people literally throw these into water and if they're kayaking out to a boat or if they're kayaking in general, um, they float right alongside the kayak. They tie off a little line to them and it just floats right alongside. Um, I'll demonstrate. Let's see, I'm over the table. Demonstrate the backpack. I have quite a bit of gear in there. And let's see if you can see that. It's all really comfortable. The shoulder straps are padded. Um, and it's just a nice unit. And uh, the bag. This bag, the 55 liter, which is one of the bigger ones, was um, $34 on Amazon. I'll put a link on there. It has a bunch of these little hooks that you can put carabiners on. Carabina, carabina, I'm not sure. Um, all over the place has this handle. You can carry the bag like that. Um, but it's really um, a really nice unit in short money. And when you get to the boat, you just toss it in the back of the boat, and it doesn't matter if there's any spray. It's going to stay dry. I'll put a link to this. I'll put a link to the dry box that I put my uh, cell phone and wallet in and my cigars in. And I'll put a link to the mesh bags that I used for the clothes. So let's see. I'll undo it, and I'll unpack it one more time. So you people can see just how much stuff we put in there. Flip flops. Cigars, cell phone, keys, lighter, um, wallet. All in there. Really nice case. The closing, and it has like a little rubberized bottom so nothing gets scratched. Couple of trash bags to take trash off the boat with. Light. Um, double insulated tumbler, non leak Contigo. Put a link to that, I guess. Got cap. T-shirt, underwear, shorts slash bathing suit, and a pullover, hoodie, not a hoodie, but pullover, warm. 
Poncho, Rain Poncho. Boat keys, sunglasses. And two full size uh, towels. There you have it. I'll put links to all this stuff in the uh, in the show notes. Uh, I mean, not in the show notes, in the uh, in the post notes, um, and where you can get them. Hope everybody has a great day.